everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started on this card tutorial, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click the bell button to be notified of future videos from me. Today I want to share with you this new die from the Stamps of Life. It's the triangle background die and you can use it on the background of an A2 size card. And it has this large die that when you run this through your die cutting machine, it will cut your paper at each one of these lines and you can see that there are several triangles then that you're going to have cut out of your paper now it also has these layering dies and these layering dies have either stitches on them or no stitching so you have four with stitching and four without so you can choose that once you cut this background out that if you want to layer some cardstock or pattern paper on top of that, you can choose to have the stitching or no stitching. And this will make an A2 size card, this background die, it actually fits on an A2 size card base. So when that comes out of the die cut machine, I'm just gonna stick a piece of cardstock under here just so that I can lift this up off of my cutting plate. And I went ahead and die cut a piece of blue jay paper that's a2 in size and i am going to flip this over you can see how it's all connected and i should say it's all one it's still all one piece just connected a little tiny bit at the middle so i'm going to go ahead and add some glue now if it does come apart that's okay you'll just have to piece your triangles back in no big deal And then I'm gonna just kind of grab it here at the middle, putting my finger there at the middle. And then I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to place it on my card base. And you wanna try and get this even on your card base. Now, one thing I suggest is that you use a glue that you can easily reposition. So if you have a glue that's hard to give, hard to reposition, you need to get a, a glue that you can easily maneuver your paper because once it sticks, it's gonna be really hard for you to get that up and, and redo it if one's higher than another. The glue that I'm using is the Tombow Liquid Glue and I find that that glue does give me some time to reposition my cardstock. Okay, next you're going to decide which type of layering piece you're gonna want. So do you want the stitching or do you want the no stitching? I decided that I want to do some stitching. So I went ahead and die cut some pattern paper using the Adore collection. I'm gonna go ahead and just place my pattern paper where I want it to go and then I'll be able to adhere that down. So I have various color pattern paper and when you're using a pattern paper that has a direction to it, such as these hearts, you need to make sure that you are die cutting, you're taking your um, triangle and you are, for example, if this is the one that fits in this box, you wanna make sure that you are placing your triangle die on top of your pattern paper in the direction that you want it shown, okay? Because if you end up die cutting it this way, your hearts will be upside down. So for example, just like that, I don't want those hearts upside down so that I know that I'm gonna use that one here. And then this is the piece that I die cut for the top. Okay, so next I can go ahead and glue these pieces down to my card base. Okay, so I want you to notice how I made sure that these triangles start at the same spot and then these start at the same spot at the bottom. So make sure all your triangles are even. Now these two, you're gonna wanna make sure that they are even this way. Thank you. 
Next, I'm gonna use the Adore die, which comes with these two pieces. This is also from the Stamps of Life. I'm taking a piece of candy paper. I do have double-sided adhesive on the back, and I'm gonna die cut this out of the double-sided adhesive. And then I'm taking a piece of just the plain white powdered sugar cardstock, and I'm gonna die cut the shadow out of the powdered sugar. And when that comes out of my die cutting machine, I'm just gonna take the cardstock out of the dies. So just weed it out. And then your pink heart is going to go right on top of the white heart. Next, I'm gonna add some double-sided adhesive foam the back side of this so that this has some dimension when it's on my card. And I'm gonna add that right to the center. So I'm just making sure that the point is lined up here with this crease here as well as this area is lined up with that and the word adore is lined up with this line. So that's how I know it's gonna be in the center. So here is my final card. I just love how you can just add your own pattern paper to all of these little triangles. It's a great way of using up your scraps and then just add a sentiment to the front and voila, you have a card. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.